caught wind of somebody out there building power walls without actually testing their cells. Basically, we've got about 170 cells here, and I've caught wind of somebody out there building power walls without actually testing their cells. They're going through and then working out if it's got more than 1.5 or 2 volts, they're calling it a good cell, and under that, it's a bad cell. So we've got 170 odd cells here, and all of those are bad. These are the cells that are above at 1.7 to 2 volts is the minimum, I think. So basically, all that they're doing is going through, charging them up doing another test and seeing whether they get hot or not and once they pass that test leaving them sit charged all at the same voltage and then ditching any that self discharge let's test this theory about a third of the way through testing we've got untested we've got the tested cells they all charge up none of them get hot they must be going to be good a few there we've got some in the opus we've got some in the the night core we've got some in the iphone we've got some on the imax and they're all basically coming through here then going through this IMAX so they're balancing out and we're going to get a nice even even voltage across here and we'll test them we've got a couple of hotties in there look at that, check that out and the one beside it, we've got two there that are hot we're going to continue testing surely this can't fail while we're waiting, let's do a baseload test of 4,000 watts commandeer the kitchen 5 minutes 2200 watts toaster 3000 watts broke the toaster we got lots on kicking around for 4000 watts stop the timer The microwave's just done with five minutes. <coughs> Toaster's still going. Now surely putting these other cells in can't hurt my battery bank, can it? Surely not. Radio tubers, day two. We've got a whole heap charged up and ready to go all between 4.15 and 4.2 volts. We've got a bunch here that, you know, turned into heaters. Those will have to be replaced. We've got six here that were in this pack and I just tested them with a multimeter and they've dropped below three volts so those ones are out. We've got a few more tested here. No more heaters in there. We're almost good to go. Alright, there we go. We're eight days into this test. We've got 80 cells there that are 4.18 volts or above so they're all holding voltage really well. We've got the pack of heaters there. Got a pack of self discharges there. We've got 110 odd cells back there that aren't being used because they're all under 1.7 volts. Let's throw this into a pack and get it all together. Okay, this is Pete's little attempt at a jig. All that I got is a plastic 1850 holders. Put them down and basically put a couple of nails on the inside there. I did have them on the outside, but it made it hard to wrap it around the end and then a couple all the way along they're just literally just either side of the plastic 
Then you come up to this end, you sort of come around, then through the two middle ones and up into here, and that makes a little jig. Quick, convenient and cheap. That's all it's got to be. Rubber headed mallet, so we've got the smooth side down the bottom. So we want to put the rough side up the top. Alright, right, done with sucking fumes for a little while. We'll go down, we'll pull pack five. It is the lowest one down there at the moment. So it won't hurt to pull it out, replace it with this one. One, two, three, four, five. Side by side, the new and the old. Just got to put the new bus bars onto that one. I'll transfer the long one over because I don't have any spares. Right, we get this lined up. Get this crimped up. We're not going to worry too much about heat shrink and stuff like that. I don't reckon this is going to be in there any anywhere near long enough to matter. Done. Now let's just check voltages. We've got 4.4.19 volts on the new pack. We've got 3.7 on the old. So this one's way too charged to actually go into the pack. So what I might do is I might join these two together, balance them out together, that way this one's going to take some power out of this one, and the long one will have less work to do when it's in. Okay, now it's time to attach the long one, and somewhere over in this mess, the long one, and the cable I salvaged from the other one. So basically, positive on this side, negative on the other side. I've got myself a little little diagram made up on my bench. So I've got to punch a hole through, I drill a hole, I've got to drill a hole, and I want the blue side and negative up. So at the moment we've got the positive side up, so we've got to pretend that that is blue. Okay, so blue towards me, put it in there. I've got to punch a hole through here, which is the punch hole thing. So that goes all the way through the other side, there, and of course that'll allow the positive, the red cable, the positive cable to go all the way through the middle, and then the negative will join up onto this side for the long one cable, and then we've got drill here and here, so this bit here, and we go the second one. Make sure it's all lining up. Nothing worse than having to do this twice. <sighs> all right. Turn the soldering iron back on. Okay, so the long one will sit there. A couple of black zip ties. Really just zip tight down. Of course, this is an um, already been in use this long one so I'll be able to plug it straight in and it'll automatically try starting taking it down to 4.1 volts be perfect snip that off nice and clean all right grab the long one cable and plug it in bit of a hook pulls it straight through positive on that side we we'll go to the negative on this side, and as you can see, as soon as we hook the power up to it, there we are, that's only been on for a few minutes, and already you can see the long one's doing its job, and trying to get that voltage back down to under 4.1 volts. To speed this process up a little bit, we'll hook these batteries together, and that'll take some of the, um, the workload off that long one. Attached a bit of cable. It is actually getting a little bit warm to either end, positive to positive, negative to negative, and almost straight away the long one turned off and cooled right down again, so it's dropped the voltage below 4.2, uh, 4.1 volt on this cell. So I'll leave that balance overnight. It's going to take some energy out of that. Put it into service in the morning. Okay, so we've got a few hours later. The battery voltage is now 3.87 volts. Uh, it's not quite enough. We paralleled it up with that one last night and um, it drew it down a little bit but nowhere near enough so it started off at 4.2 volts last night um, now I've had to resort to some you know unconventional methods but it does actually work 
Uh, so I've got a whole heap of uh, three volt cells here. So the power or energy will come from that one into this one and actually bring that more into line where I want it. As you can see from here in the beta room software, uh, the minimum voltage is pack five is obviously because pack five is missing. Um, and we've got a minimum voltage on that bank of 3.7 volts. I don't know if you can quite see that. And sort of a maximum of 3.78 uh, volts. So if I can get it down to 3.7-ish three volts, I'll be happy. Put that in and then it'll balance out with the rest of the pack. Unfortunately, the batteries weren't flat last night. We're back in charging mode again. Um, I've got it set to cut out at 50 volts. So it doesn't drop those cells too badly at the bottom. All right, uh, we got 3.8 volts. It's not close enough, but look, I need to get it installed again and get it going. This one's running nice and warm. It's actually discharging at 1.4 amps as well as discharging into this pack as well. This pack's come up quite a bit. So let's get this apart, get it in the battery shed. Time to put this pack in. There you go, she's back in. Long one cables. Well, there we go. She's in service. Now to run a balance charge on the actual pack itself. As you can see here, it's 3.82 volts, so it's way high. That's the highest one. 3.82 is pack number five. So we've got a bit of balancing to do, so I'll leave it, sit there and do a balance charge. Come back in a day or two and see how it goes. So guys, thanks very much for tuning in. That's part one of two. Next episode in, in this little series will be the testing of that pack. Uh, seeing if I can really prove that doing it that way is a bad thing or a good thing or whatever. Whatever the results, I'll be open and honest about them. Um, just for, as a note, I'm not going to name the persons that are doing this. And there's more than one now since I started it. Um, you all know who you are. Um, I've all, already made my... Um, my feeling clear on the way that you're doing things but each to their own it's your it's your project so have at it but please as a community we can do this better i'm dead sure we can let's give it a crack see you on the next one cheers thanks for watching